everyone thank you so much for joining in to my channel this is luna the moon tarot so today i will be doing the we uh, the monthly reading for the fellow signs sagittarius and let's see what is the energy update for my fellow signs sagittarius what is the over overall energy for the month of october for my dear sagittarius okay let's check that out first Hmm. I don't know. Ask the question. What is the overall energy, please? What is the overall energy for the month of October? Oh, we have the Hierophant and we have the Magician. The overall energy for the month of October is. I feel Sagittarians, you will be manifesting a lot. Okay, there are things which is coming to fruition. So in case if you have been manifesting things, people, uh, anything or abundance in life that is coming to surface, you are going to uh, achieve your manifestations, you are going to achieve what you really want for or you're wishing for. The manifestation is about to uh come forward so in case if any of you who has been thinking that you know they have been trying to literally manifest but nothing is happening october is the month when i see that your manifestations are coming to surface you're going to achieve what you really wanted in life and in what you really manifested and with the hierophant i also feel that you are manifesting a union you're manifesting a marriage you're manifesting um a life partner possibly and i also feel that uh, there has been uh, some kind of uh, issues related to marriage as well that is coming to the fore in the month of october okay but yes definitely uh, your manifestation is coming to the fore and you're being asked to be very strong uh, not only emo uh, not only uh, you know emotionally but you have to be very wise in taking up decisions you have to weigh down all the pros and cons do not let your emotions overpower your mental strength whatever decisions that you have to make make sure that you are making it uh, from uh, you know you're making uh, you're taking those decisions mentally not out of emotions okay you're taking those emotions in a practical and logical way what is good for you you're deciding basis what is right for you not on the basis of your heart what your heart desires but on the basis of what is good for you practically and logically but there is something related to marriage that is for sure seen on the cards all right and now let's see what what does the angels has to say here what is it that is coming in the month of October. Romance. And there's something better. So I feel uh, Sagittarius, for few of you, there is a new romance or an old person, uh, you know, uh, with whom there is a new beginning of romances starting. For very few of you and for very few of you with whom uh, these things or relationships are not working out, you're being guided that there is something better. So it's a mixed uh, thing that, you know, there is romance coming up in your life, but then look for something because they are something better than what you're expecting. And if you believe that, you know, things are going to happen and things are going to come to fruition in your life, then this is the time. If you believe it will happen, it will manifest in your physical world. Let's see, what is the tarot card saying or talking? What is going to happen in the month of October? In your love life? And otherwise, this is for Sagittarius. Hmm. Cards are slippery. Let's give it a good shuffle. What is going to happen in the month of October? Hmm. 
this is for the month of October what is going to happen in the love life and in general as well for the month of October Eight of Cups, Temperance, what else? Queen of Cups, Five of Wands and we have Judgment. What else do we have? Hmm. of pentacles the empress justice the sun what else one more card please okay the hand man and the king of rods this is an extra card but i'm gonna take it um, bottom of the deck, I see heartbreak, three of swords. Um, I feel that uh, Sagittarius, you're going through a heartbreak, some shape and form of a heartbreak that I see uh, on your cards. There is some pinch, some kind of trauma, some kind of heartache, pain, pinch that you're going through right now in your life. Okay. And somebody did something because of which you are in this state. With Ten of Pentacles, I feel that you're looking at your financial situation right now. You're too focused on your work. You're too focused in earning well. You're too focused on your finances and you want a lot of abundance to come when it comes to your finances. You also want uh, your situation uh, to improve and you're looking for a commitment you're looking for uh, settling down you're looking forward for uh, you know you're looking forward for a union here in the month of october i think the month of october you're gonna enter with a heartbreak energy uh, and an energy of a commitment you will feel directionless stuck and you will have nowhere to go you'll be like you know uh you'll be like you know there is no direction what is it that i need to do next i'm unable to choose what is it that i need to do what is it that i what move should i make here i feel that you are stuck because you know you are not ready to take a step or you're not ready to take a direction so if you see this woman can actually untangle herself she can remove the blindfold as well and she can see the direction very clearly and she can move out of this uh these walls created uh, by herself okay but i see that you're entering with uh, with a little sadness okay with a lot of confusion and uh, a stuck directionless energy focused on your career and union with somebody uh at, you know in the month of october i also see that you are trying to walk away from something and you're trying to heal you're trying to balance uh with a lot of patience i see you trying to balance yourself out you're trying to move on from something which is not serving you pretty well it's like a journey that you will be taking in the month of uh, uh october and uh, this will be a self journey internal journey and there's a lot of self healing that i see on the cards that you will be doing for yourself in the month of october this is your own energy this is your own card so you're moving away 
into your own energy you're taking your power back you're trying to heal yourself you're trying to balance yourself you're trying to balance every situation that you uh you have in your life and i also see with the queen of cups energy you are waiting for something that you really care about okay you're waiting for somebody that you really care about you really uh, have a lot of care uh, you know you really nurture a connection in your life and you're waiting for that person to come forward towards you okay uh, i also feel that with five of wands uh, there is uh, some kind of conflict internal challenge or internal conflict that you're fighting in the month of october wherein you are trying to give in to the uh, divine and you're telling universe that you know i am leaving everything into your hands now it is up to you to decide what is it that you're going to bring on my platter or are you going to serve on my platter something that you're moving on you're trying to heal balance yourself out you have you are waiting for somebody to come you really uh, feel caring and nurturing for but there are a lot of challenges involved conflicts involved obstacles involved and you have left everything on to divine timing with four of pentacles you are keeping everything within yourself you're not sharing your feelings you're not um uh you you're keeping your heart very close so your heart chakra is closed right now you may have blocked somebody or probably uh, you have been blocked by somebody but i feel that there is a lot of uh, blockage okay and you're not ready to uh, you're not ready to um, basically uh, share your feelings what exactly you're feeling you're keeping it within yourself you're not ready to share it with the empress card i also see there's also a lot of self love which is coming in there's a different aura that is uh, around you and people are getting quite uh, attracted towards that aura you're taking good care of self you are uh, right now you are your priority your own priority in the month of october okay you are somebody who is very nurturing very caring you know how to take the lead in every situation you have been taking a lead in every situation and um, i see that you know this is the mother of tarot empress is the mother of tarot so you are somebody who uh takes care okay who is very caring and very nurturing with the justice card i feel that there is something related to uh Uh, an imbalance in your connection that has been caused in the past you're trying to balance it out but there's certain uh, air of coldness around you and there's an imbalance that has caused in some particular connection because over here you're waiting and there's an imbalance you have been giving in a lot now you have taken back your power here okay and now you're trying to uh to balance everything that you know probably in the past that you have been giving now you have you have stopped giving and now you're waiting uh for the other person to give in return okay that is the reason why the scale is like imbalanced right so now is the time when you are ready to receive you have given enough now is the time when you, when you are ready to receive and now is the time when you are in your um how do i say in your best self okay with the sun card i feel that you're waiting there is some kind of a good news that is coming in there is some kind of joy abundance happiness that is going to come in the month of october for you and you'll be very happy about it okay very 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 happy about it so whatever stuck energy that you have felt in uh, the uh, initial days of october or right now that you're facing you're going to come out of that uh, uh, particular uh, uh, place okay that directionless that you were feeling um you were feeling all um, you know confused and all that stuff so now is the time when you are getting that epiphany you're coming out of that zone you're getting a direction there's something that is lightening up uh within you and i also see somebody entering king of rods somebody entering in your life somebody who's already there in your life who's quite on and off okay and somebody is actually entering in your life and uh you are very happy about it you are very uh, attracted to this person and they are very attracted towards you let's see what is it what extra what more should i know what more Six 
six of cups i see that uh, there are few memories that you are not able to move on from move past upon there is somebody in your mind that you really think about and you keep on revisiting those memories back and forth i also feel that uh, you know there is somebody in your life you really want to uh, we really want him or her to offer you that cup of love that you've been waiting this is the cup of love okay you're waiting for them to offer you or you're waiting for them to come forward and you can offer this cup to them but i feel that you're waiting right now for them to offer you okay this is more like an energy wherein you have taken your power back here and now you want them to offer their cup of love only then you will offer your cup of love so it's like give and take balance equilibrium okay that you're trying to uh, gain access to what else yeah so i also feel that uh, probably in the month of september your connection with this king of rods wasn't going pretty well um and you know your relationship was actually being tested it was in the choppy waters your 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 boat was sailing in the choppy waters and now you're trying to sail hard towards the calmer waters so now whatever things that which are not working out right now in the month of september it will calm down a bit and you will move on from the uh obstacles challenges towards a more calmer water okay towards a more stable ground with this person or in this connection with the six of wands i see success okay whatever you are looking for or manifesting i see you getting that in the month of october if you are manifesting a connection it is coming forward if you are manifesting a relationship it is going to happen okay if you are manifesting a commitment that is also going to come towards you right because in the past i feel that you may have offered your cup the one that you were holding here and this person was so stuck in the past or so busy in the past looking at the past that uh, they literally um didn't see it coming okay they they didn't see it coming but now i see in the month of october there is a solid commitment solid relationship a solid uh, you know uh, commitment stability and a relationship which is coming in next one month okay something good is coming and job wise as well in case if you are looking out dear sagittarius i see a new job a new project a probably a uh, abundance some kind of financial boost you are getting okay what else what is the outcome let's see what is the outcome in love life for what is the outcome in love life what is the outcome okay so we have high priestess we have death we have the devil and we have knight of cups here so i see that uh, i see that uh, you know with the devil and knight of cups um they are things which are hidden okay they are things which are hidden and uh, there is a connection which is coming and probably there is something some idea something which is dying out fading away uh in the month of october for you there are things which are beginning new in your life in the past probably there was there was somebody who was quite toxic this king of rods okay and who was quite in and out in this particular in your life or in this particular connection now i see that that particular cycle is ending of this person who has been quite in and out and they are now coming from the king of rods energy they are now in the knight of cups energy and they are bringing their cup of love towards you with a solid ground commitment with the high priestess i feel that you already feel it intuitively right now that something good is about to come in the month of october towards you and this devil energy whatever their past packages were or your past packages were it is about to end this cycle is about to get over some thing is dying uh and there is some kind of rebirth which is happening in this particular connection with this person i also see that in the month of october there is quite many celebration reunion reconciliation which is happening you uh, in case if you are wondering is there a reconciliation coming up with your person then yes is the answer within next 3 weeks 
that is like uh, in the first week or mid of october maximum you're going to reconcile with your person at least a catch up breaking bread or celebration is on the cards with your person for sure is happening okay and with knight of rods again uh, this person is coming uh, all charged up towards you and this time it is more on a stable ground with queen of swords you may even give them a cold shoulder because they have given you a cold shoulder in the past with uh, six of pentacles okay i feel that now is the time when the connection is going to be quite stable and balanced because in the past i feel there has been some kind of imbalance in the connection things are coming to the fruition and you know there is a completion of a cycle which is happening in the month of september and now in the month of october things are moving towards positivity abundance things are getting completed a cycle is getting completed over here whatever in and out negative energies were they are taking uh, its uh, you know they are ending and moving towards much more positivity this person may even apologize of uh, the way they have treated you in the past now they are looking at the future they are waiting patiently and they are also looking at the future how this connection when they have committed to you they have given you a cup of love how this uh, particular relationship will shape up they are trying they have thought about it and now they are coming forward towards you with a proposal and they have their own insecurities and anxieties around this connection though and but they are trying to leave past their baggages and offer you this partnership okay this is a soulmate union a connection that you are waiting for now let's see what is the advice that we have for my dear sagittarians here because i see a relationship commitment stability coming up for you okay what is the advice for the month of october nothing is yet set in stone balance spirituality and practicality so uh, i would suggest dear sagittarians that do not think that things are over do not think that you know if your person has stopped talking to you or there is a no contact situation and they have ended the situation nothing is yet set in stone okay at the end of the day universe has to do what it has to do you can always uh, practice your free will but universe will always surprise you because you are somebody who has been manifesting a lot you have been manifesting a relationship commitment or a marriage commitment i see that very uh uh very much on the cards the entire reading was based on that and i see that happening so in case of your person if you think that your person has ended nothing is yet set in stone keep manifesting be positive and balance your spiritual but balance your spirituality with practicality don't be a fool and believe in the impossible so this is your affirmation for the month of october comment below believe i believe in the impossible sagittarians just comment down below i believe in the impossible so i wish you all the be uh, all the best for the month of october good things are on the cards i see relationship commitment coming in i see the person who was very in and out in your life in the month of september that cycle is getting completed that cycle is getting over it's dying out for the new cycle to start in the shape and form of a relationship in the month of october beautiful amazing so all the best guys thank you so much and take care